welcome welcome to bar head thanks for being part of this beautiful family look look at where i am today i'm at maple honda you can see a lot of cars behind me you can see a lot of cars there are five billion and quince cars here if you believe it say yeah i believe it <laughs> charlie thanks for subscribing thanks for liking my video thanks for being like thanks for being part of this beautiful family we are growing together we are uh, we are educating ourselves what you don't know i'll come and tell you what i don't know you tell me i also pick it okay we are all we are all in the learning process you understand i'm at vaughn um i think maple honda is the, the address is 89 something something vaughn but it's also on the jane street so if you pick the jane street wherever you are from blur straight down to vaughn you will catch up with the the you catch up with maple honda it's a very big place you can see the, the number of cars parked behind me and everything with their year models and everything so today we are coming to talk about financing a car financing a car financing a car leasing a car or buying a car in canada i've been talking about used cars a lot and today let's talk about financing or leasing a car it's either brand new uh, certified pre-owned cars and every other thing that we comes in mind that we need to also talk about for being part of this family thanks for clicking on this video to watch this video now a lot of people are afraid when they they travel outside to finance a car because on social media you see it as a way that you you, you are straining yourself you will suffer you will go through this you go through that yeah you are right you are right you're all right but some of us were were, were buying the woman is 60 000 where we're doing work and pay for the woman for Toyota Vits. Now Toyota Vits are even going for 80,000, 100,000 for work and pay. Now we are not converting the money into CDs. You understand? If we are in Canada, what currency do we spend? We spend uh, Canadian dollars. So if you are buying some of these cars, 30,000, 25,000, 40,000, my brother, why should you let somebody talk you out of this beautiful investment, this comfortability? You would not, you would not have to wait for a bus again. You wouldn't have to, you know, there are a lot of stress in, in Canada, in US, wherever you are, wherever you find yourself. There are a lot of stress. You know what? Don't be, don't beat yourself up. Calm yourself down. Stay, to, stay with this video. Now, I'm using mine as an example. I'm financing a Honda Civic 2019 model. <clears throat> and I can tell you, it's like next month is one year, and I've really enjoyed my Honda Civic. I have really, really enjoyed. I'm doing this video here because I'm here for servicing, and then um, it will take like two, three hours. They are fixing, they are doing the oil change, the carbon filter, and uh, they are checking my brakes and every the suspension and everything to know that everything is all right. It will cost me though, but you know what? It's a new car. It's my investment. So I know what I need to also spend on it, you understand? So what do I have with me here? This is a Honda CRV 2024 model. It's a touring. You can check. Ooh, sunroof for your enjoyment, you understand? Now, why am I saying buying these cars is a form of investment? What advantages that does it come with? And what disadvantages does these cars come with? Let's talk about advantages now this car gives you the comfortability comfort you know sometimes there are people who are working in canada here who would have to wake up at 5 a.m to just to get to work at 7 a.m you understand and these are individuals if they were having one of these cars it would take them like 30 minutes drive Okay, so you can sleep one, one hour more or you can do other work one hour more before you what? You try and, try and, 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 and what? Pick, pick up your car and also get to your, your, your workplace, you understand? So the first one is the comfortability, the comfort, the flexing. Imagine driving this very beautiful Honda CRV 2024 model or having a very nice Honda 2020 CRV. That your bosses are driving in Ghana. <laughs> it's the bosses. My boss was using this type of car. And here am I in Canada 
I can go in and say, okay, um, can you change my my ownership and then transfer it to a CRV for me? But please, I'm not doing that. I'm not there yet, okay? I want to pay for my Civic. I really like the Civic, okay? Uh huh. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, okay? So the comfortability, the flexibility. And you see, let's talk about other parts. Imagine driving this kind of car. You pull up, my brother, <laughs> the girls. Oh, if you are a girl to Charlie, the flex, you understand. You can also catch up with your 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 dream girl. Charlie, you pull up, she drop in then uh, oh yeah, more we'll go for a party. Alright. <laughs> push that one aside, push that one aside, push that one aside. It comes with a whole lot of things. You can also do side hustles, like you can drive for Uber after work. If you are working, you know, some people are working who are also schooling. Most of the time, my comments are enjoyed by a lot of students or people who are coming to Canada to study. You understand? So, as a student, you can also grab one of these cars, go to work from work pa, 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 to campus. You understand? You don't have to stress. You can give, even keep some of your things in the, in the car. After, after work, you clean yourself, you change, you, you, you go straight to, 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 to campus. To go and continue your studies okay so the comfortability easy movement you understand now what are people too afraid of the first one is insurance insurance is too high especially if you are um, a student like I do if you're a new driver in Canada it doesn't matter if you have the G license or you have whatever it is now the insurance goes about maybe your age, whether you are married, how long you've been driving, whether you went to a driving school, um, your address. So if you are living in a city centre like Toronto, where <laughs> where am I? You understand? The insurance is too high. Imagine paying like five hundred dollars a month for insurance. This is this place is not like Ghana that you pay insurance a full year, one full year. Let's say if I pay two thousand or I pay three thousand. And I'm I'll go and sleep. This is not like Ghana. People who are living far away, like um, uh, Sudbury and other places, are paying very less, like two hundred dollars a month, like uh, one hundred and fifty, like roughly two hundred and fifty dollars a month. Okay. So if you are living in Sudbury and you are schooling in um, Ontario and you spend most of your time here, and you can put your address there, that's where you are living. But you are schooling in Toronto. That's why. That's why you are in Toronto. Okay to also reduce your, your the insurance that you pay but you can be pulled over by cops and they will ask you why are you here your, your, your address shows that you, you live in Sudbury you live in Tender Bay you live in North Dundas why are you here why are you in Toronto if you can prove that you are, you are schooling that's why you are here you are good to go you understand if you let your insurance know okay my, this is where I live this is where I'm, I'm staying but you know what I spend most of my time with my girlfriend. I spend most of time with my friends in Toronto and have proof. You can prove it and not. You go away, which will also reduce your insurance. So what you fear, that, that is another clue that you can use to beat what you fear. Now, <clears throat> um, car payments, of which I say that is an investment for me. This car, this is a 2020 CRV. This car, you can buy this car up to 300,000 Ghana cities back home. You understand? I'm not trying to convert it. But assuming you go in for a 2024 model of um, CRV now, you see, this one is 2020. This one is 2020. So I am going in for a 2024 CRV. Four years' time, with the mentality of a Ghanaian, a Ghanaian who, who has been driving, we can pay for Dawu Matis. That, that small car, that small Dawu Matis. <laughs> that small car, it was my dream car to have it. And I know a lot of people who are enjoying this comment, will say, content will say, oh, Joe, 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 don't go there. But you see, driving this car for four years, this car will be like, plus in short, plus, um, if it's a, 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 a very new model, like this CRV here, which is a 2024 CRV. The original price on them, I'll have to show you the price. I think it's $48,000. 
2024 Touring CRV, which this is a hybrid car, um, 1.5 liter engine, forty-eight thousand dollars. Now plus, um, uh, there, there will be an uh, interest of I think six point nine nine if you have good credit. If you you don't have to, it will be around um, let's say the highest will be 10 10 10 percent interest rate on it okay so if the highest is 10 percent and then we are financing this car what are we going to do okay what are we going to do okay we are financing this car after paying this car my, my your plan should be like okay I need to finish paying this car in four years they will give it to you for seven years now the longer you pay the longer you pay interest to them so let's assume that we are calculating that okay we are paying this car four years so plus interest and everything will be like sixty thousand sixty thousand dollars now sixty thousand dollars paying it seven years we are paying it in four years it means you have to make some payment like that is not in line like you will not follow the normal payment procedure okay now after paying this car in four years or in five years what you will need to do is you can even bring it to them sell it to them or if you are in canada and you want to take it home to start some business you can take that car home ship that car home sell it raise capital that's somebody who said oh i'm not i'm not buying a car couldn't have saved that money back home you understand because definitely you go you cut up like you go to a place you want bars you will not be getting bars you pick an uber one or two there about you make those kind of transactions that my brother if you had invested it in a car it would have been worth it now the most dangerous part is oh joe what if somebody steals my car or the car got stolen or gets stolen like what will happen if the car gets stolen you have insurance insurance will cover most of the cost you know what the insurance people will do so if your car gets stolen the insurance people will pay you the market value of your car okay for you to also start up start something with okay so just don't fear i keep on telling you don't fear this is a new country you just came in you just came in you need to try something if it doesn't work you pay it off you know this this is my mistake you understand it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to make some errors but it's okay not to try it's not okay not to try okay or um, you know there are people who also don't know how to drive for you it's okay everything is okay for you okay if you don't know how to drive don't stress yourself there are people who also have no people who there are people who also work from home if i work from home and i'm not going anywhere buying this expensive car or buying paying these bills is not like a wise decision for me if i'm working from home all i need to do is make where i am very comfortable now with me the car serves as the car is also my workplace you understand so it's an investment for me you understand that's why i'm also bringing you this amazing content for you to also think about okay i'm a student i can also go for a car at honda specifically maple one or you want to come and say you are looking for john john will do everything for you 